By the gods, the unknown alien was ugly. All of the new recruits lined up in front of Tell were ugly, but the half size one really took the cake piece. In the name of politics, all species could now serve in the Ravix Empire's armed forces. It was looking like the first interspecies group to go through basic were going to be an absolute shit show. Dropout rates would be sky high. There weren't any real interspecies tensions or anything, but coordinating such a variety of capabilities, or perhaps incapabilities, on the battlefield would be near impossible. This, in turn, would reflect badly on Instructor Sergeant Tell. Reaching the end of his introductory speech, Tell looked over the recruits, evaluating. About half were Ravix like himself, lean but strong beneath their brown exoskeletons. They were young and inexperienced, but most would make it through. Many of the remaining were blue or green hued zillion. Not too bright, but the species at least had a reputation of being capable fighters. They should be okay, if they could manage to keep up. There were a pair of squirish, who knows what the soft shouldered idiots were thinking. The forces weren't any kind of place for pacifist species. They must be destined for intelligence or strategic planning. If they survive basic, of course. And the unknown alien. Not a commonly recognisable species, tall enough to be eye level with his midsection. Furry. At least he thought it was fur, and no shell. The soft thing didn't look like it would survive to the end of his speech, let alone the armed forces. Maybe a small size gave it its good stealth potential? No. With that pink on pink shell tone, it wouldn't have a chance. In the privacy of his own thoughts, he was betting heavily on it quitting first. Discontented, Tell dismissed the group to their new home dorm to get settled in. Sam dropped the pathetic few personal belongings into the locker and sprawled out on the nearest oversized cot, glad the brief medical exam and droning speeches were done. Almost immediately, Another recruit was overhead, looking down with obvious disdain. Great. Day one, and already having to defend the right to be there from one of the others. There was no words, no accusations, just a multi-clawed limb to casually push Sam off the side of the bed and establish the beginnings of a social hierarchy. A clawed limb whose owner was about to discover Sam knew a thing or two about standing their ground in the brawl. Instructor Sergeant Tem wasn't surprised in the slightest. Stupid politics. He had expected fighting amongst the recruits during the stresses of basic training, but not too soon. Unfortunately, no one was injured enough to get kicked out. Maybe it was for the best. The affected parties would be much more likely to drop out if they were already unhappy. Then he could get on with training the real troops. Reading over the summary, Tell realised it was the unknown pink alien who initiated the punch-up. Odd for it to be trying to get itself killed so soon. Suicidal, perhaps? There also seemed to be an error in the report. Species... Iron Male? What new testosterone fuel provider was this? With irritation, Tell looked and called up the actual report beneath the summary. The recruiting documents corrected the species as human, but it was the medical report that nearly made him choke in surprise. Gender... Female.